Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today well summer is here almost it's getting there um, and the weather is really nice this is of course fantastic because winter has been long and summer has come late for the data center that means that it becomes rather hot in here so well we could just see that some of these top servers up here they are complaining these are not on but they do remind me that the temperature up here is bad and over here is my ice gauge array i don't think it's that's why they're complaining but well they get the same heat so i have turned on my fan down here so let's go visit that fan is here on the other side of the house oh the garden is so nice so over here is the fan um, it's hidden away a little bit mostly to reduce the noise I haven't been preparing this so you see what I see uh, just turn this on today and it kind of had a let's get that one out of the way as well it has a filter on there I usually have it a little bit um, like this so that um, so the filter doesn't obstruct as much so the most most of the air is filtered but some of it will go um, the other way and I wanted to improve on that so I've actually bought some stuff to do that so we're gonna take this filter assembly off for a bit um, is the fan and I'm sure that later in the year we're gonna be playing a little bit with water cooling like we did last year because that's fun when it becomes really hot so let's put this over here on the table I have multiple projects that needs to be put away here oh, it's, it's quite a mess Okay, so a few videos ago, for you probably, I was replacing a radiator and all the water that I got out of that radiator, I put in this container and I'm actually filtering that to put it back into the system. Not as if it's expensive or anything, but this water is just full of junk that, uh, well, it's probably not good to put in the sewage system. And it's good junk. It's uh, to prevent the system for corroding and freezing. There's also antifreeze in here. I don't heat the house when I'm not here. So in winter it could theoretically freeze. So I'm um, trying to save that. So let's and I want to get rid of this so that it's not clotting up my table. And it is really dirty. So this crap has been in the radiator. Uh, if we see this filter here, this is a piece of sewage pipe and that just happens to fit this filter really well. So that's a cool thing. Um, but I bought some more filters. I have been looking for filters like this. This filter is normally just about a hundred Danish kronas, and a hundred Danish kronas is about, about $17-ish, give or take. Um, so I was actively expecting that I wanted another filter like that so I have been looking for it and I wasn't happy about buying a filter and, and paying $17 for it and I was so lucky to find filters that was on a discount they were put in this stack in the home improvement center and uh, it's exactly the same filter I think this one is just new this one is dirty it's, there is quite a change there so I was hoping that I can somehow stack these to get more air in uh, the more filtering area there is the less resistance there are so my thought is that we're gonna I got another one. Oh, I forgot to tell you I paid 10 Danish kronas for each of these and that's about one and a half dollars probably ish 1.7 so that was a good price that I was willing to buy I was actually just gonna get one but as the price was so good I got two 
and I don't believe they had any more than just the two of them so I got the last two so we're gonna stack these and make ourselves a big air filter like this and somehow I'm gonna try and see if I can make them modular so that I can replace them as they go that color I think this is okay for this year we'll keep that so we'll stack them and then we'll make some holes in in them uh, we need to we need the air to come through so the, the two bottom one needs to have holes in them and the top one not so much so that we're gonna do and we're gonna be putting them on the on my air intake so the idea is that these air filters they fit very nicely over this uh, sewerage pipe uh, actually it's so nice that with the suction that the motor which blows air into the data center well they it will keep these filters in place because of the well it might not be as much when we put more filters on but it will kind of suck the filters down and they won't go anywhere I'm gonna be cutting a hole in this one uh, probably just cut out this middle thing here should be sufficient and I'll that will keep it still uh, in good shape if I cut too big uh, it will be wobbly let's do something get the show on the road see if we can do that carefully don't break them they're not that expensive but if I have to replace them they will be well that's way harder than I would have expected okay this is not too bad and it became a bit easier when I got further out I could even make a little snake like this so we're gonna do one more and I think this one is gonna be the bottom one and we're gonna have the ugly one in the middle that one and then we're gonna have a nice one on top so we're not gonna cut this one we're gonna cut the ugly one so I'm gonna do that I know this is probably not something that everybody is going to be able to use for anything. It more or less only works in my little data center. Okay, I got both of the holes cut out. And the top one doesn't need a hole. So um, yeah, we need to put this together. And I was thinking about a combination of some glue and this awesome tape. I got this from Gustav in London. Uh, I visited Summer in the City in London two years ago, I guess it was. And Gustav was nice enough to meet up with me and he brought me this present. Uh, he also brought me some coke from Lidl, which I had requested. So uh, thank you again Gustav for the tape. I am still using it. Uh, the good thing about this glue is that it's not very good so um, even though we put it on we're gonna be able to take it off again so my thought is to glue the uh, glue around here put it on top and then give it some tape and the suction should really keep all of this together so that's the thought anyway we're gonna try that if it doesn't work we'll make another video where we improve on it it's always oh put on some glue here Best benefit of this glue, not very good. <laughs> so put that on top. Try and make it there. Ah. Glue all over. Ah, this tape thing. Apparently, this G technology is a really good company in the UK. Uh, not something that we know here in Denmark. But, hey, stop. I'm sure people from the UK will, uh, will tell me if that's, if that's true. I don't, I don't think they make tape. They, uh, I think they deal in computer parts of some sort.
One down. One more to go. So, top one, we're just gonna do the same thing. Gonna put some glue on this new one and tip it on. Cool. Filter complete. Check. Let's see. Uh, check, 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 check. Right order. So it looks like this now. Let's place it. See what happens. Um, I did some videos last year where I improved on this. If you're very curious about that, I'll leave those in the end of the video, so you can go check those out. I did some, I did some water cooling on this, and I did some improvement on the airflow into the data center. So um, yeah, just a reminder that there is videos out there on this. And now we're gonna put this <laughs> really nice contraption on there and try to get a good view of that. Let's see if I can kind of get out of the way and still be... Ooh. Okay, that happened. So, guess uh, we're gonna go that way. Put that one on. And the filter on top of that. Okay, there's no good way to do this. Okay. I'm gonna go get a broom and remove some of this crap that has clotted up in here. Okay, I'm gonna put the, some of this metal thing in here again. Um, it helps a little bit with the sound and it also just protects this a little bit. Uh, these are some shells. Okay, this doesn't help much anymore, I see that. Well, okay, they're out of the way, that's that's also important. So, a little bit of an improvement on my little airflow system to the data center. Um, when we come to high summer, I'm gonna be having to improve on this, and we're gonna be playing with the water cooling system again. We saw that shortly, it was on the table back there, and we're gonna try and make some changes to that. But until then, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel. Join me over at Twitter where I occasionally post and I really need some more Twitter followers. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.